Now your ABC7 first alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Temperatures warm today, up near the average for this time of year, actually coming in at about 88 by 3 p.m. and not much in the way of a rainfall chance. Now, normally we might get some uh, cooling rains in the afternoon along the sea breeze, but that's not going to happen today. The air is just a little too dry for that. And we're looking for uh, a 9 a.m. temperature of about 78, a 12 p.m. temperature of about 86. And as I mentioned, 88 degrees by around 3. And then the evening looks nice, 85 degrees as we head into the evening period. So we've got some cloud cover that's kind of coming at us from time to time across the region. Brought up by a general south to southwesterly wind flow, we've got a few scattered showers that are picking up to the south of us near Fort Myers and well offshore. I think those will tend to die out before they make it to us. I don't see much of a rainfall chance for us today. Drier air in place across the Sun Coast from about Tampa Bay southward to Oh, probably about the mouth of Charlotte Harbor. We'll see some drier air move in. We've got some rain showers down to the south, but as I mentioned, um, those will probably dissipate as dawn breaks. So big ridge of high pressure in our forecast for the next several days. That noses in across the state, brings us a southeasterly wind flow, which would uh, generally be pretty conducive for some showers. And in fact, if you if you look at the rainfall chances across the state, I think we probably have a better chance than most other locations across the state because that southeast wind will encounter our sea breeze in the afternoon and where the two meet it will be a trigger point for shower and thunderstorms. But, you know, th th with the dry air in place, I don't think we'll see a whole lot in the way of action today. Tomorrow may be an isolated shower building in inland areas might lead to a slow drift back to the coast as we head into the evening. Put the rain chance at about 20 percent for the next few days. But for today, I think we'll be pretty dry. There are some showers down to the south of us in the Caribbean, and maybe some of that moisture will be lifting northward with time. Plus, we have a trough of low pressure that will develop by the end of the week that may help to encourage a few showers around. But for the most part, this week's going to be sunny and dry. The tropics are fairly calm, and we have better rain chances by the end of the week. But even then, it's not going to be a prolonged period of high rain chance, only maybe a day or two with perhaps an enhanced rainfall chance. This is the long range forecast model and you can see the cloud cover and showers that are located down in the Caribbean. That's all part of a long gated tropical wave that's down there that's kind of just been hanging out. And I think eventually it's going to lift a plume of moisture northward into our Gulf waters and up toward areas around uh, Texas and Mexico, but no organization here. So we're not looking at any kind of a uh, organized tropical cyclone, but uh, certainly some enhanced rainfall chances. And then by the end of the week, maybe a little trough of low pressure might develop out here in the near uh, Atlantic waters that might help to boost our rain chances just a little bit, probably by around Thursday and Friday. Otherwise, pretty quiet. Tropics are quiet in the Atlantic. Not much happening here. Some very abnormally cold waters in the Atlantic right now in the breeding grounds for storms. This cluster of clouds that you see down to the south is that trough I was talking about that will probably inject some moisture into the Gulf waters as we head into the second half of the work week. We'll see how that plays out. But uh, so far, any kind of tropical development down there, not likely. Next five days are forecast to have no cyclone development. Southeast wind turning west at about 10 knots today. Should be a nice day out there on the waters. Two foot seas, light chop. And the forecast for the next seven days looks good. Daytime highs warm over the next several days in the upper 80s and 20%, that's it, chance of rainfall through Thursday. Friday, that increase in moisture and maybe a little trough might lead to better rain chances for a couple days, but then I think the second half of the weekend will also feature some drier than normal conditions.